The Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the church in Ephesus nearly 2,000 years ago, and some theologians are still confused by Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. We're going to try to fix that. This is the reading we're going to use for Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. This is only slightly modified from the King James. And all I've done is change are ye to you are, and any man to any one. The first place Calvinists get confused by this passage is at the word that. When a Calvinist explains this passage, they'll say that is a pronoun and it must refer to a noun. In this case, it must refer to the closest preceding noun, which is the word faith, and therefore this passage proves that in order for somebody to have faith, it must be given to them by God, and God only gives faith to those that he chose before the foundation of the world in eternity past. Some non-Calvinists will still stick with the claim that that is a pronoun and must refer to a noun, but they'll say it refers to grace or to salvation. James White, in his book, The Potter's Freedom, argued that in this case, that refers to three nouns, grace and salvation and faith. But that doesn't make any sense at all because that is singular. It would have to be plural to refer to three nouns. The fatal flaw in the Calvinist interpretation of this passage is their failure to recognize that the word that is a demonstrative pronoun. And a demonstrative pronoun can refer to a noun, a noun phrase, a full sentence, or even a fully formed complex idea. Mike Winger, on multiple occasions, has stated correctly that that, in this case, refers to the full idea, by grace you are saved through faith. According to a comprehensive guide of the English language, the antecedent of a demonstrative may be either a noun phrase or a larger segment of discourse, such as a clause, sentence, or sequence of sentences. This fits perfectly with what Mike Winger said, and we can see that in this case, the demonstrative pronoun that refers to by grace, you are saved through faith. To help us understand a demonstrative pronoun, we can replace the demonstrative pronoun in the sentence with the thing it refers to. So since that refers to by grace, you are saved through faith, we can replace that with by grace, you are saved through faith. That leads us to the statement, by grace you are saved through faith, and by grace you are saved through faith, not of yourselves. Since we've repeated the same clause twice, we can remove one occurrence of that clause without changing the meaning at all. So this change leaves us with the statement, by grace you are saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. We've not changed the meaning at all. We've only lost a little bit of Paul's style. The second place the Calvinists get confused by this passage is in trying to identify what it refers to. But if you'll notice, it is is in italics, which means Paul didn't write that. The it is does not appear in the original Greek. This is something the translators added in an attempt to clarify the meaning of the, pa of the passage. So to highlight the fact that this is not part of the original passage, I'm putting the it is in square brackets. In this case, the it is hasn't really helped clarify anything. The gift of God was already clear. By adding it is to the gift of God, that just turns it into a complete sentence. But it's a complete sentence in the middle of another sentence. So we're still left with something that's difficult to analyze grammatically because it's not grammatically complete. So let's look at something else we could use instead of it is to help make this grammatically complete without changing the meaning. I could say, for example, I give you this mouse, my gift. That's perfectly clear. It wouldn't confuse you at all, even though it's not complete grammatically. I could change it to, I give you this mouse, it is my gift. Now it's grammatically complete. I didn't make it easier to understand, but it's easier to analyze grammatically. But I could also change it to, 
I give you this mouse as my gift. Again, I didn't change the meaning, but now it's grammatically complete, it's still a single sentence, and easy to analyze. So let's do the same thing in Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9. By grace you are saved through faith, not of yourselves, as the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. And now we're ready to start diagramming the sentence. We start with a vertical and a horizontal line. We add the subject and the verb. The basic part of the sentence is you are saved. Everything else in this sentence is modifying or qualifying the basic idea, you are saved. And as we work our way through the sentence, we start with, by grace, you are saved, through faith, not of yourselves, as the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Now that we've completed the diagram of our sentence, it's easy for us to see the structure of the sentence and understand what the gift of God is in this, in this verse. And because this is a basic sentence, you are saved, modified by a series of prepositional phrases, we can separate these prepositional phrases out into individual sentences. You are saved by grace. You are saved through faith. You are saved not of yourselves. You are saved as the gift of God. You are saved not of works, lest any should boast. The basic idea here is that you are saved as the gift of God. That is the gift of God. The fact that you are saved is the gift of God. And this is confirmed by Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. You can see now, after a basic, simple analysis of the grammar of Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, that the Calvinist understanding of this passage just isn't possible. It doesn't make any sense with the grammar. The only thing that makes sense is that the gift of God is your salvation, and that salvation is by God's grace through faith. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.